Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Online Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, I just got this in, and I'm so excited about it because it's something I've been thinking about for a long time. And it is a BP 3000 Bloom Plus light. It is a grower's light, and uh, I've already tried to attach it. It doesn't come with the instructions to actually how to do this, but this is going to be going into my greenhouse. And right now I am setting up a temporary place to put this because I have got some seeds growing and they're growing faster than I anticipated, which is great, but this is the thing. If they're reaching for light, even though I have a fluorescent light over them, are they getting the appropriate light they need or are they really just growing you know, longer than they should for their time span. So, anyways, uh, I decided to purchase this 3000, BP 3000, and it, what I like about it, of course, you got to, um, you get to plug it in. Uh, it did come with some wires right here that you can adjust your heights with it, with these extender cords here. So right now I kind of have it like this until I get it into the temporary place I'm going to be putting at. Now the front of it, this is what it looks like. So these are your little lights and I'm going to show y'all in just a little bit on how this looks when it's lit up. Well, let me give you some background information about it. So yeah, I've been thinking about this for a long time and so I had just reached a place, uh, my greenhouse is in the process of being uh, slash greenhouse, low side tunnel greenhouse, is in the process of being uh, put together and something I've been uh, working toward for a while. So about this light here, it is a BP 3000 and uh, the size of it is 20.8 times 18.9 and the weight of it is almost 10 pounds. And also, it cover, the vegetable coverage is five feet by five feet, or for flowers, four feet by four feet. Of course, it is a 120 and uh, volts here. So uh, this is gonna be wonderful of getting these flowers and plants to grow like they're supposed to grow. So. So now I've got it up under the heat, the heat mat, which the heat mat is a digital thermostat combo. And the length of this is 48 by 20.75. Now this tray right here, these two trays, this comes together, came from Haas Tools, H-O-S-S -S, Tools. You get one of these trays or get five trays or however many you want at HaasTools.com. These are very durable trays. I love these trays. They have multi cells into them. It also creates your plants from getting root twisted, bound, you know, all knotted up. So this heat mat here is put out by Vidsun, B-I-V-D-S-U-N. And what I like about this, it is a digital thermostat combo. Over here is the temperature thermostat you can go you can set it up or down right now it's set at 85 degrees and uh, right now the temperature is 71 this is the BP 3000 and as you can see all these lights up under here and you can see what I'm talking about how my plants they're just taken off and these just tomato plants just sprouted yesterday and they're already that big now this growth is great but uh, my concern was was these just reaching for the light because of the crookedness. Well, the plants will actually go wherever the light is. So I did rotate these and I had two fluorescent lights on them and, and you know, one over here and one over here. So, but still my concern is, is that the amount of time they're just coming up, are they just reaching for the light? Now this BP 3000 um, LED light, puts out heat right here. I feel a lot of heat right here. So not only is the plants getting the light, 
what they're getting the heat. They're getting the heat here on the mat where the growth to help them to germinate, to spring forth. And uh, so they're getting a lot of heat. Now I just moved them out here. They've been in my kitchen. Seems like everything ends up in my kitchen. So now this is a temporary place they will be sitting at until the greenhouse has been completed. So I'm very happy with the setup. It takes a lot of worry off my mind. Now I do not have all these cells planted yet. What is, uh, I, I plant a certain amount and uh, I can, I have some blank ones here so that lets me know, not only to get the plant space, but it also lets me know there's nothing planted there. And if I want to go back in later and plant, I don't have to guess it. And then also on my tags, I put the date that I planted these seeds. The day is the 11th, I believe it is. It's either 10th or 11th. I planted these seeds on the, some of them on the 5th and these squash over here on the 6th. And most of them was plant on um, February the 5th. And here, I think here we are, I, I believe it is the 10th, but um, five days later and they're already big as they are. I've got some um, basil planted in here. And so now that these are coming up, it gives me the option to go in here and uh, plant some more. Now I do have five trays, so I can really, I got another tray I, I want to plant flowers into. Um, this tray right here, which I'm going to put some water, more water in there. It lets you uh, put your water in there. It absorbs it from the bottom. I don't put the water on the top because I've got this potty mix here. And potty mix is very fine. And it can just like wash your seeds everywhere. So I don't really, I can fine mist it if I want to. I do have a fine mister. But on the bottom, it has these holes. And look, I see roots up under there. So the roots are already reaching for that water. So now what I'm going to do is give them some water because I haven't watered in the day, but the soil is very moist. Over here is my thermostat controller sticking right there. You do not stick it into water, but you have it um, sitting up out of the water near it or just, you know, I put it on the, I was able, it has a little suction cup. I was able to put it on the side. If you can't, if you don't have one of these trays, you just put it near where it can judge the temperature. So the heat mat I got from Amazon, also this BP 3000 LED light, Bloom Plus light. I also got it off of Amazon. These trays here from Hostools.com. Uh, I think I said that right. Yeah, I said that right. So host, yeah, the trays here are from Hostools.com. They are made in the USA. Now, this is not made in the USA and neither was the heat mat. But these trays here are made into the USA. Okay, guys, just want to show you a little bit of my setup here. This is out here into the, I guess you say my workshop shop, whatever you want to call it. Right now, I temporarily have it connected up there just so I can get them to the proper lighting. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll know that I'm loading up a video. And as always, make it a great day and God bless you.